Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Donkey Kong 64. The only game where shooting monkeys out of a cannon is not only a good thing to do, it's also required to beat the game. So, today, starting with this video, we are going to tackle the seventh and the final main world of the game. There is technically another world, but um, it's not going to be like this. It's a lot more linear, and there aren't going to be any gold bananas to collect. But first, we have a cutscene. Holy crap, that claptrap was huge. Okay, so here we have Creepy Castle. If you can't tell from just that little uh, camera panning alone, this is a very, very, very big level. <clears throat> it's going to take a while before we get everything, especially since we're going to be getting all the normal bananas in addition to the golden bananas. So the first thing I'm actually going to do in this level is I'm actually going to just, you know, walk around the level kind of give you a, f a feel for how big this level is and where everything is and then that way I can also you know activate all the banana ports and stuff so our navigation is a lot easier so that is probably what I'm going to be doing first uh, before I do anything I am going to go ahead and get this barrel blasting course out of the way and wow once again I missed immediately holy crap I did that in the crystal caves barrel blasting course too Okay, let's not try to fail this time. Um, if I remember correctly, this course is actually fairly linear. There aren't really many changing paths or anything. They kind of, you know, take you in the right direction of where you're supposed to go. And I don't think there are any normal bananas in this course either. I could be wrong, and I could just be forgetting about some of them, but I'm pretty sure there aren't. But yeah, it's a very, fairly simple course. It shouldn't give you very much trouble at all. And I think I'm almost done with it already. Yep, there we go. We're already finished with it. And all that will do is it'll open this tree... However, we can't do anything inside this tree just yet, because we actually need a Funky's Upgrade for this level before we can do that. Um, Funky's Upgrade, while it doesn't seem like it's a very useful upgrade, it is required because, um, I'll just go ahead and say it, it's actually a sniper mode. And uh, with the sniper mode, you can hit switches from afar, and they basically use that so that there are some switches you can't hit close up and you have to, you know, shoot from afar to actually get some of the gold bananas, which is kind of annoying, but that's what they want you to do to play this. Okay, so here's banana port one, or one of the first banana ports. Um, in here, I'll just go ahead and get this out of the way. And yes, we have chunky bananas in here. I'll just come back here later with chunky. The reason why I'm in here is there's actually, um, candies actually in here. So I'm going to go ahead and get her upgrade. Um, yeah, she does have an upgrade. I know I didn't remember if she did or not during the last level, but she definitely does, now that I remember it. And basically all this upgrade does is it takes your musical energy to uh, 25, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase that. Upgrade 2. It's technically the third upgrade, though. I don't know how they messed that up. Okay, and there she said that she's given us everything, so we no longer need to see candy anymore. Which I know is a shame for Donkey Kong, because 
Well, he obviously has a thing for candy. Um, is there a balloon in here? I think there is, but I don't see any. I might just be mistaken, so I'll just go ahead and leave. I could leave with Chunky so I can get all of his normal bananas, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to leave normally. Because I want to make sure I don't stick off the main path too much. Otherwise, it's going to make navigation a lot harder, so... I'll just come back here later when I have everything. Because I could also go over here and get this uh, gold banana out of the way with Tiny, but I'm not. I'll just wait. It's always better to stick to things in an ordered fashion. I think, anyways. I'm sure some of you might disagree. Okay, I believe... Somewhere down here, there's somewhere else I can go. That actually has the area with Funky, but... I'll keep a lookout for that. I don't have this level very memorized. I know where a few things are, and, like, generally where things are, but not, like, everything. Okay, where does this take me? Okay, this takes me to where the drawbridge is. Here we have a Diddy Barrel. We'll have to use that later. Or not that barrel specifically, but... A Diddy Barrel, so we can actually rocket barrel to the top of the castle. And I believe up here is just where the, uh... Well, no, no, never mind. I thought this is where the banana ports were, but they're a little farther back. I'll go show you where that is later. But I am going to go ahead and pick up these bananas, so I don't forget about them later. But yeah, as you can see, like, just, like, 45 of DK's normal bananas are stranded around this path. It might even be more than that. Holy crap, it is. It's 50, actually. Oh, crap, I missed one. Oh, well. I'll just grab it and then jump back. Okay, yeah. 50 of DK's bananas were actually in that one linear path, so... We took care of that pretty easily. Yeah, pretty easily. I'm just gonna go ahead and fall back down. And, whoa, I actually got lucky. And then I didn't get lucky and I died. Okay, never mind then. Okay, so now I think I'm going to look for Fun... I almost died. Uh, now I'm going to look for uh, Funky so I can get his upgrade and get it out of the way. Not really sure where it is, but I'll find it, I'm sure. Actually, while I'm here, I'll, I'll go ahead and activate the banana ports because I believe they're just right up here. But yeah, uh... Banana ports 1 through 5 are just located on this little strip right here. Or at least one of their variations. You have to, like, climb up throughout the level to find the other banana ports, but... That's kind of the main hub of the banana ports right there. Okay, so now I'm going to jump down here, because there is a door down here. Uh, not right here, obviously, but somewhere around here. Oh, okay, right here. Never mind. And in here is actually where we'll find Funky and all the other stuff you can do in this level. Okay, here's where that balloon was. I was thinking of at Candies. It's actually Tiny's and it's right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and purchase the Sniper Mode. So I basically hit C right to zoom in on your crosshair, and then you press C left to zoom out if you're zoomed in. And that is all the upgrades we can buy from Funky, so we're officially done with him. We also have some homing ammo right here, so if you want to restock on that, you can. Not sure if we'll be needing the homing ammo right away, but it's nice to have. I'm still not going to really do anything in these rooms yet, because I want to make sure I get Cranky's upgrade before I do. It'll make things a lot easier in the long run, so that's why I'm kind of, you know, doing all this stuff in a very organized fashion. But I will be back there, that's for sure. 
Actually, I need to find a tag barrel because I can get something tiny right away. Uh, her splat's actually in a very weird place. Not not necessarily a weird place, but it's almost at like the very bottom of the level, which is kind of unique. So I'll go ahead and switch to tiny. Well, I've been recording for 10 minutes already. And it feels like I haven't really gotten anything done, but that's just the nature of this level. That really is the nature of this level. This level is a very, very, very long level to work with. Okay, now I need to go this way. I probably should have used a banana port. I'm not really sure why I'm doing this. And with Tiny, you can skip those little platforms, which is nice. You see, that's why she's helpful, because the Ponytail Twirl really does help you get across some areas very easily, but... I just really don't like when she makes that whee sound whenever you use it. Okay, so if you keep following this path around, you'll eventually get to a very narrow path. And at the very end of the narrow path is her Splat, which you have to fly over to. So, fly over to it and then take it out. And I believe that is her last blueprint of the entire game. So once we take that blueprint in, we'll actually be done with her entire row of uh, blueprint pieces. Of course, though, I'm not going to do that right now. So now we're actually going to climb the rest of the way up the castle, because I believe that the rest of the bananas that lead to the top are actually Tiny's bananas, so it's best that we actually use her to climb up there just so we can get those out of the way. And then we can start working our way down or working our way up. It really doesn't matter, but you can do either or and pretty much get away with it. And that's, yeah, that's usually how I tackle this level, and I don't tackle it by falling off. Although I do anyways. Stupidly fall off like that. Come on, climb the ladder, please. Just don't be difficult. I don't want you to be difficult, so why are you being difficult? I don't I'll never get that. Okay, I don't even know where I am right now. Okay, this is weird. I don't remember this part at all. Okay, this is where the uh, tree is, the Donkey Kong pad. There should be a... Okay, there's a ladder right here. Okay. For a minute, I had no idea where I was. Holy crap. Okay, I'll just go ahead and warp to Banana Port 2. That'll make things a lot easier. Besides, this is actually where I was, where I stopped with Donkey Kong, so... That was actually a good place to start. And we're just going to go around and we're going to see all the different things you have to collect. Oh, and we also have Cranky right here, too, so I'll go ahead and get that move out of the way. And there's also Banana Port 3. So Cranky's move for this level is, once again, a move that all the Kongs have. It is actually another upgrade to the Simeon Slam. It's the Super Duper Simeon Slam. This Simeon Slam can actually hit red buttons, not just green and blue ones and we will have to use this to get through the level because there are several places where you need to hit a red switch so it's kind of a lame upgrade but I guess they couldn't think of anything else and did I really just do that did I really really just do that I seriously must be an idiot or something I really hate when you fall off this castle, because, I mean, it's not that much of a chore to get back up to where you were, but it's still annoying, because, I, I mean, I, I especially imagine if you're, like, doing a speedrun of this game, or not really a speedrun, but a, you know, kind of a quick playthrough where you're trying to see how fast you can get through the game, which, I mean, I guess that is technically a speedrun, but, you know, less emphasis on the professionalism of a speedrun. 
And it's just really tedious to get back up, and you're always like, Ugh, I fell off again! It's very, very annoying. In fact, while I'm actually climbing up here, I guess I'll, um, tell some stories, I guess. Uh, this is actually a fairly recent story. Um, I really don't know when this video is actually going to go up. It might be, like, a week after I've done this, or it might be, like, two weeks after I've done this. But a little while ago, I actually played through this game again. Like, the whole game. Like, while this Let's Play was going on. Uh, that's how I kind of remember some of the things you have to do in this level so well. And where, like, some of the things are. So, like, I played through the entire game. Like, from start to finish. And I actually, you know, tried to do it as fast as I could. And I actually beat, like, uh, my top time for this game. Because um, I, I like to keep my files after I beat them. And whenever I want to make a new file, I usually delete the file that has the worst time. So I can, you know, keep my best files around. And, um, yeah, my newest file actually beat my top time. Um, I think my top time was um, 13 minutes, or not 13 minutes, 13 hours. And uh, I think it was like 27 minutes, I really don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, my new time was actually 10 hours and uh, 58 minutes, which is a lot better. That's like two and a half hours better than my best time. I don't know how I was like that much better. I think it was just because like, uh, you know, I memorized some speedrun techniques and I was able to use them a little more effectively. And I also didn't fail very much during some of the harder portions of the game, which really actually helped out. So yeah, um, I did that run recently, and uh, yeah, my time was 10.52. Uh, for those of you wondering what the actual speedrun record is of this game, um, I'm, I don't really remember the exact time for like just a normal, normal run, but for a 100% run, it's actually 9 hours and 2 minutes, which is a very, very hardcore time to actually beat. It really is, because this game is long. This game really is long, so... Nine hours and two minutes, while it sounds like a very, very big time, it's actually a really good time, and it's a good, it's a fast time, too. 